There's some freaky things going on in the world. I don't know if I agree. I don't know if I agree with it, but I'm all for the advancement of civilization. I don't know. Call me modern, but I'm sure none of y'all wouldn't want to be living in caves still. Um, beating rocks against each other to catch fire on cold winter nights and all that, right? The advancement of technology and the advancement of medicine is something that's going to be here whether we like it or not. So, stem cell research, I don't, I'm not sure if it's banned in the U.S. From what I'm reading here at, on Wikipedia, and I mean anybody could put information on Wikipedia, I'm just telling you where I'm getting this information from, so correct me if I'm wrong. It says on July 19th of 2006, First of all, welcome to SoFlow TV again, everybody. What I'm here to talk about today is full body transplant. Full body transplant. That's what I'm here to talk about. You know how you have organ transplant, a kidney, heart transplant, these kind of things. Now I'm talking about a full body transplant. You might say, hmm, what the hell is he talking about? I'm sure that shit's not happening. Hold up. I got something for you. Watch this. On July 19th of 2006, President Bush vetoed this bill. The second bill makes it illegal to create, grow, and abort fetuses for research purposes. Right? By execution, but sorry, not execution, by executive order, on March 9th of 2009, three years later, President Barack Obama removed certain restrictions on federal funding for research involving new lines of human embryonic stem cells. So we're talking about stem cell research and we're talking about the advancement of medicine. I'm watching a video today sent to me by a subscriber and they're saying, so Flo, I want to talk about this. Do you think this is even real? I've said before that I think scientists are, and correct me if I'm wrong also, or if you've been wondering the same thing, scientists, a mad scientists, we call them, you know, scientists are out there doing things beyond the average human being's mind. So when you come here, so we have these discussions, I need you to come with an open mind. Don't tell me about what you see in your high school laboratory. Don't tell me about what you read in your local newspaper, because... They're not going to put certain things in your local newspapers, not released as public information for the masses to know, right? So, check it out. This video I'm watching, they started talking about, the, first of all, the scientists said, actually, watch the video and then we'll talk about it. Here's the video. If you've got a major heart problem or full body transplants on six terminally sick patients, who are now walking around with their former faces and brains, but with new bodies. Ah, as much as I would love to show you the video, I can't. YouTube has rules and regulations, and our counterpart, Brains in a Beat, tried this by trying to show you the entire video, and she immediately got a notification saying that basically you can't do it, right? Or they'll be making money off your channel. So, just know that we have seen the full video and we'll just talk about it here. The scientist said, if you are sick, how about, you know what I was thinking, babe? What? What about brain, brain cancer? I guess I'm the only one that wouldn't be able to be saved. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So unless you have like brain cancer or something, because what they're talking about is, the man said, if you have a heart failure, right? Now, you must understand that blood clot and all these other things, other parts of the body might have been affected. You know what I'm saying? So, um, diabetes, kidneys are failed, all these other things, renal kidney failure, renal failure, all these things. Instead of going through dialysis and having all this other stuff done, or kidney transplant, ray, 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 how about this? He said, if you missed it in the video, instead of being cut here and cut here and cut here, you would get one cut and that would be across the neck. And what they would do is they would remove your head and attach it to a new body. 
What do you think about that? If you became ill and there was technology out there that allowed your head to be removed and attached to a new, younger, stronger body, disease-free body, would you be up for that operation? That's my question I want you to answer mainly in the comment section below and tell me why. I want to hear it from your religious, because we know people are going to come with religious perspective and all other kind of perspectives and I want to hear all of them. I'm trying to engage everybody in some conversation on this topic. If you got ill, say renal kidney failure, I pray none of this ever happened to any of y'all, but renal kidney failure, heart failure, you're in need of a transplant or something. If there's technology out there that allows you, there's a trickier part to this. Watch this. If there's technology out there that allows you to actually have your head removed, because nothing will happen to your head. It's your body that's ill, right? Have your head removed, rewired in, and placed on a new body. Would you go for it? Would you go for it, babe? Yes. Bren says she would. I'll save my answer until people start commenting in the comment section below. Yes. You would? Yes, no matter where you come. All right, see that? The man talked about an 80 something year old. If you're wondering if they've done it, they were very keen to say that scientists haven't, haven't said yes or they haven't said no. They haven't confirmed that it's been successful yet. But they have talked in the video about the ones that they have done. Because they did talk about an 80 or 70 year old, a 70 year old woman that became ill, sick, and her head was removed and placed on a 21-year-old model's body. And it was a success. Huh? Let that sink in yeah, let that sink in. And it was a success. And they also spoke about putting a man's, was it a man's head on a woman's body? Huh? A man's head on a female's body. So if you think them scientists are going to do some madness out there, believe me. Let's go further than that. When the whole gay thing started happening in the black community, it was like a gay explosion. I mean, back in, gay people have always been here, right? We have to face that. They've always been here. From For those of y'all who are biblical, from Sodom and Gomorrah days, from the beginning of time, out of the Bible, gay people always been here. In recent times, though, it seemed like it's been an outburst. Watch where I'm going with this. There's information out there that this, is, this was a chemical warfare that was done, thrust upon the black community through vaccination and through spraying stuff into the air in certain neighborhoods that would turn the men either straight homosexual or bisexual started having bisexual feelings like them one there with man too so and I, I'm one of the people that I actually kind of believe this because it's like an explosion all of a sudden everybody gay all of a sudden everybody bisexual all of a sudden everybody bisexual where like before it was okay the person that gay yeah it was taboo and few people were right and I understand as time went there by, were, they, would hide it. they would hide it. But I understand them coming out as time change and them get them rights and they become more organized into a powerful organization, right? But to see how it's an explosion in certain cultures, it's something to really take into consideration. Now, back to the mad scientists that in the lab. I'm saying, scientists are in the lab cooking up all kinds of things. You must understand that man will never stop creating madness. And some of the madness is actually going to be beneficial to mankind. For instance, people are going to start living longer. We've already started living longer. Because if you look back in history, people never lived that long. The only place people live that long are in a Bible. 
are in a story box. But in reality, people live in, I know somebody are gonna beat me for that to say, so I try to say the Bible and the reality. That's a whole nother discussion, right? But in reality, nobody was living past certain ages. People used to live till them are like 40. People are dead at 20, 30, 40. The oldest you'll probably live to is 50. Now we have people living up into their hundreds. 105, 106, 107. I think people are living till them are 100 hour teens, right? 117. 117. And as time goes by, with these types of stem cell researches and these people doing these head transplant and all these other things. You hear what the man said? He said if certain things go right, there are people already out there that have it has been done to and they're walking around in their neighborhoods and they're being monitored. And if it's successful, by this time next year, it will be a full go. So although it's banned in America, I can only see rich people in America calling India and saying, Yo, my body's sick. I need to fly in for this. I need a new body. And you fly into India and come back with a brand new body. You fly into India 65 years old and come back 21 years old in body with a 65-year-old a head on a 25-year-old body. There's something to think about. The SoFlow TV man, like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm not going to beat this one out too long. But I want you to answer my main question. I'm going to say it one more time. If you became ill, you need a kidney transplant, you need a heart transplant or something like that, right? Or your body was maimed in an accident. And technology was out there and available to you to transplant your head onto a brand new body. Would you take it? Leave your comment in the comment section below. Let me hear what you got to say about this one. I'm up out of here. Food for thought. Provocative thinking. I'm out. Peace.